Hello all you Pixel people, I am Pixel and welcome to a brand new Let's Play and this one has been probably the most requested Let's Play on the channel up till now and that is of the original Half-Life. You guys that have been around for a long time know that I actually started out with Black Mesa's Source. So that was like the upgraded version of Half-Life on the Source engine. And it did really well on the channel and I enjoyed playing it. But this is technically a blind let's play because I have only played around the first 40 minutes of Half-Life ever. And that was about 15 years ago. I know that a lot of the things are going to be almost identical to Black Mesa Source, but it's also going to be quite a little bit different from what I've heard. So this may be a little bit more difficult than what I'm expecting. I've quickly just tried to test by doing the little train run, but we're basically going to start a new game, start from the scratch. If you've been here for a long time, you know the way that I do Let's Plays. So yeah, let, let, let's do this, guys. There'll be a part or two a day. And... Uh, We'll do a pausing force and blue shift after this. So, uh, let's get into this. Half life. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. Morning. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. What I don't want to do is keep comparing this game to Black Mesa Source, but I have to say, the visuals are strikingly different, from level three yet familiar. It's interesting, it really is. Beyond Sector C, you will hmm. need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the <laughs> retinal clearance system, in Black Mesa you Source, this was a huge Black rocket. Mesa personnel for Look at him go! Before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the <laughs> transit system. of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound. No wow. smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. It's amazing how good the game actually feels, like the mouse control and stuff. All times. For a game this Do old. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. Yes, ma'am. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further wow. instruction. If it is necessary to pass the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. <sighs> I remember playing this like, it might have been like 12, 13 years ago and even this bit just felt epic. There's like nothing like this ever before this. I think you're unreal, but uh, very, very different. It actually felt like you were part of a living world. It's impressive, really impressive. Surprisingly, the visuals kind of hold up. I suppose especially in this day and age with indie games which don't look much better. Will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the level 3 facility. The semi finals for high schoolers will be announced in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Oh, wow. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings mm, nah, my friends are dumb. in the areas of No offense guys, are you watching this? And low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruitment. Black Mesa Research Facility is an opportunity 
It's got this really cool like 80s, 90s feel because uh, it, it's not it's not based in the future, is it? It's just based in like a very advanced present. Cool. Continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. All right, G-Man. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course mm. of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer. <laughs> the irony. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Doesn't seem very safe this place, does it really? At Sector C test labs and control facilities. Hey dude. Like in Black Mesa Source, Barney wasn't here. Is this Barney? Because he made a joke of it. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Yes, ma'am. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, nope. and have a very safe and productive day. Good morning, Mr. Freeman. Hi, mate. You're running late. Yeah, a little bit, unfortunately. This train, slow. So, how's your day been, mate? You been busy? I mean, uh, what are you actually guarding against? Can we do this later? Oh, blowing me off, are we? Okay. One, four, seven, one. Okay. I'll catch you soon, mate. Thanks. Ooh. Just want to see all the things. I should look for a high definition texture mod, I? Hi guys. How's it all going? Hey Mr. Freeman. I Hi. have a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Hazard suit, test chamber problems, fun fun fun. Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. Hello. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous Ooh. ties? Get away What's this? There, Freeman. What, what, what? I'm expecting an important message. That's your mobile phone? Dude. Someone has hidden my glasses again. You're wearing them. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I've got to stay at my post. Okay. Um, but do you mind telling me, like, what does this button do? Now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? Like, what does oh that do? Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. I didn't Come do anything. On, Gordon, you trying to get me into trouble? No, no, no. My finger slipped. Honestly, I would never have done anything to get you into trouble, mate. Okay. Hello. Hi, guys. Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. Okay. Hello there. Hi. Oh, you're doing magic, are you? Because you was on a train going in the other direction a minute ago. Got my eye on you, sir. Hi. Huh. I'm trying to listen to what they're saying. I have no idea. Hi guys. How's it going? Greetings. Hey mate. You happy to see me? Greetings. Hi. Ooh. <laughs> Was anyone else getting hungry? My god, what are you doing? Nothing. Oh, oh sorry, I, I slipped. Aren't so you a bit worried about that exponential cascade scenario we discussed? Um, I cannot remember it. But now I'm worried. Thanks. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you into here. Okay, okay. Let's head on to get my suit, if I remember correctly. 
I... Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Yeah, I suppose I am technically as well. Hello. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Yeah, we can wait. That's odd. Yeah, it is odd because it works fine. It works absolutely fine, I think. As I expected. Is that yours? I hope those. My God, what are you doing? I. Uh, the devil makes work for idle thumbs. That's all I can say. Ah, it's good to see you. Hi, mate. Double knot them. You don't want to be tripping up. It's dangerous around here. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous? I can't see anybody. No. Freeman. Yes. Oh, an energy kit. Science stuff. And a baby? Is, is that me as a baby or is that my baby? It looks like a little baby girl. Hmm. Actually, I have played Portal and I did hear rumors, like in the comments, that Shell could be Gordon Freeman's daughter. Is that Shell? Or Cell? Shell? I don't know. Yeah. Buddy. Most of the simulation results are perfectly acceptable. Oh, I didn't realize. It's got the music. Hi, guys. I'm Gordon, mate. Hey, buddy. Hello, Gordon Freeman. Yeah, you too. Right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Hi. Hello there. Hi. Music makes you feel like you're a boss. Black Mesa topside temperature is 93 degrees. I don't know what Fahrenheit degrees are. Oh, I'm assuming it's Fahrenheit because if that was centigrade, it's nearly boiling point outside. It's kind of scary. Hmm. I watched a video the other day, guys, of uh, a speed run on, on, on Half Life. It was 21 minutes. So technically, if this was my speed run, I'd be on the Zen chapter by now. That's crazy, isn't it? I, I hope so. I mean, I'm going into that place. I'm scared. Hi, guys. Hello. Hmm. Greetings. Here you are. We Hi. just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The okay. administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Okay. Access denied. You joke. How do I not have access? I'm Gordon Freeman. To report the fluctuation. What fluctuation? Oh, wowzer. I've only just realized, look at the size of that keyboard. Dang it, son. It's about to go oh. Critical. Guys, you really should get that looked at. Do what? Do what? <sighs> Good guy Gordon, Gordon Freeman about to get himself killed, it seems. I mean, I play Black Mason, so I do know that I don't die. It's like, why aren't these guys telling me what the issues are before I go into the? I can't be bothered right now. Fine, don't be bothered. Hello. Hi. 
Ah, oh, Judgment Day is upon us. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. I You've do. assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, You've assured me! You're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. I don't have confidence in them, though. That's the issue. <sighs> Wish me luck. I'm in. It's not the friendliest looking place on the earth. Testing. Assuming Testing. like what may start up here. Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If okay. you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Okay. I've started all the rotors, guys. Shall I wait up here? No. Actually, let's stay up here where it's safe. How's it going, guys? Everything's still safe? Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, it looks solid, Gordon, guys. You cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level of the Nord Take at least work as quickly as you can. Okay. What do you want to do now, guys? Okay. Oh. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh oh. Guys, talk to me. Oh, what then? Anybody here? Hello? Oh. Oh, don't go into that. What? Hi. Whoa. 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 Hi. I come in peace. Wow, wow, wow. I've just realized something, guys. Half-Life 2, Episode 2, the last chapter, was called Unforeseen Consequences, right? For perfect unforeseen consequences. Just gonna quickly go up here. Just wanna see if the guys are alive out there. I hope this electric isn't gonna do me damage. Oh, wow. I'm alive. I'm alive. Just...
What? We'll go a little bit further. Just a little bit, though. Hey, dude, can I help you? Will he be okay? I want to help. I think he's gone, mate. Dude, I think it. What? Oh my god, you're a hero! You just. You just saved that guy's life! Making. Great hang. Wow, you. And you, you're not even bothered. You was just dead. He was just dead. And... Yeah. You have coming with me? Oh, brilliant. Come on with me, guys. Don't get yourself killed. Don't get yourself killed. No, come on, mate. Come with me. Dude. Uh, I'll come back for you later, guys. Are you oh. Are you two okay? Why didn't they listen? We tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. You, you didn't warn me. You're alive. Yes. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Okay. I hope those people in the Lambda Lab can get this under control. Yeah. Um, whoa! <laughs> Settle down, guys. Settle down. Dude, come with me. Glad to oblige you, fellow scientists. Oh, this looks dangerous. I think I remember what part this is. Oh? Well, in fact, it looks so dangerous that I think I'm actually going to leave it here as part one of the Half-Life Let's Play. I hope that you've enjoyed this, guys. This is something that I was a little bit concerned about doing because it's a very old game. I'm not sure that it's going to do very well view-wise or subscriber-wise, but it's a game that I, I think I'm going to enjoy and a lot of people have been asking for on the channel and... I, this is like a big thank you to you guys so if you're new to the channel don't forget to slap that subscribe button and check out the other half-life let's plays that we've got on the channel and uh yeah if you like the video then be sure to like the video yeah they're crazy aren't they but yeah i am pixel i hope that you've enjoyed and i'll catch you next time guys um see you later